Cadet Karras, MS-5 here at Spartan Battalion, and today I'm interviewing Cadet Lane Martin, an MS-3, about her experience in ROTC. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, what's your major? What's your hometown? Uh, what branch are you looking to go? And what component, active or reserves? Um, I am a zoology major. I'm from Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, and I'm looking to go veterinary course. Awesome. So, uh, what made you want to join the Army ROTC program? Um, I decided to join because my brother was at the Naval Academy when I uh, came here as a freshman. And so I went up to the table at orientation and I was like, what's going on here? And they were like, hey, you can be a vet in the Army. And I was like, okay, well, sign me up. That's awesome. So you never had any pre-idea about it before you got here? No, no idea. That's I didn't awesome. know it was a thing. That's very, <laughs> that's very cool. So uh, what, well then what made you choose MSU? Um, I came here for their veterinary program. Okay, that makes sense. We have a very good vet program here. Um, so, in general, what do you think ROTC has taught you the most? I think the biggest thing is speaking up because I have a quiet disposition and being able to come out of my shell because I had to has been a huge fail. A command presence definitely, ROTC definitely helps you, with, helps you with that. I know for myself as well, being a smaller statured person, it's definitely something that I've learned a lot in my time here as well. So, um, what is your favorite part about ROTC in your time here? Uh, so far, it's been the people, just a really good community, and I've made a lot of really lifelong friends. Oh, for sure. So, um, what are you looking forward to in your last year of ROTC, and including the summer advance camp? Um, really excited for advance camp, a little nervous, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, next year, I just want to be able to take everything I know and be able to pass it down to the people for me. Great. So, um, what trainings have you been a part of? Have you been in any additional trainings, Raider Challenge, or some aerosol school, anything like that, or anything you would like to go to possibly in the summer? Um, I did Colt last year, and I think that was it. I was, went to Indonesia, and then, uh, yeah, part of Color Guard, <laughs> but no other training. So tell us a little bit about Colt, and the, hey, give any advice for future cadets who would like to attend it. Colt was awesome. It was. Uh, really special because we got to stay at the Indonesian Naval Academy and live with them in their barracks and be able to see literally the other side of the world and how similar we are and even though there's a huge language barrier we could still communicate through humor and just like being the same age is really special. Would you recommend future cadets to attend? Oh absolutely classes? yeah there's no reason not to. I never went to I always wanted to it would also sound like a good time and a good learning experience as well. Mm -hmm. So um how has ROTC impacted your day-to-day -day life? Like maybe changes you from high school to college that you didn't think uh, come about without ROTC? Uh, sticking to a schedule, definitely a night owl, and have a hard time waking up in the morning. So that was the biggest change, having to deal with that. Um, having to get all my studying done so I could go to bed at a decent hour, that was huge. And then, yeah, just overall structure and having to really be on top of your time and how you spend it, because you can't waste it. That's yeah, one big thing that ROTC definitely does in college. In college, you have a lot more free time, and it's hard to class cover yourself around it. But being in ROTC really gives you that framework to kind of fit your life into. It's one thing I greatly appreciate as a freshman. Coming here from a small town, it was really nice to uh, have someone that could help me set up my day-to-day -day life. Okay, so the last question today, what advice would you offer for future cadets, coming here or any program in general? Um, I would just say take advantage of all the opportunities that are available to you, and I think just trying to be the best version of yourself by interacting with people and learning from other people, that's like the easiest way for you to grow. Awesome, thank you very much. Go Green.